Watch this! So he's showing 17 right now. What's his burst? I don't really want to give him back another Nizoth as the thing, so I'm just going to steal that. And then we just scream this next turn. I do kind of want to kill the, uh, the Death Lord, though. But maybe not this turn. Are you kidding me? You have that. <laughs> There's the punish, I guess. Anduin versus Liadrin. I think I made the correct play there. Uh, I think our opponent made the incorrect play to include the cruel package into his deck. EU dominance, sure, sure. <laughs> if that's what you want to call it. Uh, we got our dusky boy, so we just win this game. I'm gonna hang on to the, uh... Wait, what? Okay, maybe we lose this game. <laughs> Sometimes it's a cruel world. Oh, uh, got him. Nice one, uh, soul brother. Also, welcome to the stream. I'm gonna go ahead and make this bigger. I'm beginning to think that our opponent is not, in fact, aggro, so I'm going to hang on to this just because of reasons. Uh, if it is, um, yeah, so if it's any fin, I can, um, I can operative the, <laughs> we're just going full Northshire. I can operative the any fin and that'll help me win. If it's uh, Exodia, we probably just uh, don't have a chance at winning. This looks like Zeddy's list, though. In two Murlocs, yeah, that's another option I was considering. I see a vision in this place. Uh, Shadow Madness doesn't matter because, um, like we have a shared Murloc pool. So maybe Holy Fire because it does damage. There's our operative. Uh, I need to hang on to this, I think. No, because I have the Duskbreaker and the Duskbreaker isn't going to do me much good right now. I also have Scream to buy time for the, um, before the Anyfin. That's just fine, buddy. That's an aggressive, aggressive clear. All right, show me anything. I don't actually want this to happen, but I've got some sick burst with the Thalnos uh, Holy Fire. Let's set up a taunt, which isn't terrible with the game plan of again like um, doing the counter kill. So I think I, I think I grabbed that. How do I kill off my own operative? I don't. I don't want to play this out because it's easier for him to, to kill. I could play this out and just plan to scream next turn. Because he's going to take that value trade, right? Just so he can keep the Finja running. I'm going to scream this back into his deck. The one I didn't want to have him get. So this buys time. Can use this to steal his card cycle. 
So that's burst. I feel like the war leaders represent more damage though, right? I, I think I can entomb one of those because so with he's gonna have three Murlocs, it'll be two, four plus uh five, nine damage. Yeah, I think that the um I think getting the war leaders out of the pool are more important. I do have one more entomb though, so yeah, I think I'll entomb that. So I can entomb three, and it's going to be two war leaders and that blue gill that I just got. There's our other entomb. Uh, kind of a bummer that I drew it before the Shadow Visions, because I would have liked another. But I've got another uh, Witch Doctor. I'm going to snag that card draw for the, uh, the Thalnos first, though. So as long as we stay at a reasonably high life total, we should be fine. Mind if I roll need? can silence that if I really want. Entombing all the win conditions. Yeah, but he'll probably have like a surprise win condition that I'm not expecting. Actually, I maybe should have uh, saved the Dustbreaker just for, um, <laughs> just for like the Exodia shenanigans with Uther if he runs it. But given that he has this Keeper of Oldemon, I don't know that um, Uther is going to be a part of his game plan. All right, show me Draconid. Could hope to get a Murloc and dilute his pool. No, that actually does uh, good things for him because he has the Murkai in there. Okay. Sure. He's got one bluegill, one murkai. There's our boy. Oh, he's going to have one finja as well. But Uther seems pretty good. Alright, I've got one more chance at an operative with the Historian. play around Terum right now. The light dims, but we so that's why this is coming out. Gives him a reasonable vigil. Hey, Surge, welcome to the stream. <laughs> that is the saddest call to arms I've ever seen. I don't think I want to play the Uther yet because I'm in I'm actually enjoying my hero power at the moment. But I do have reasonable burst. Like I can do 10 on the following turn, so I'm probably going to Uther next turn uh, once I can get a clear path to his face. Both protectors are down. Let's mark. And we got some nice uh, Uther cosplay going. Yep, 
This looks like a scream to me. Whoop. Hit him in the face. Set up lethal. Uh, he's used both flash of lights, so he'd need to Uther himself here to survive. That's, uh, that is the saddest, saddest anything can happen I've ever seen. Alright, we're gonna super troll him now. Using his own cards against him. <laughs> 